All right, people, Catfish Dave here. This is my first time fishing on Fort Lousy in quite a while. I'm out here testing some props with a 50, 60 horse conversion thing I was doing. Uh, I guess by now y'all have seen that video. I've got just a little bit of time out here. I've got some leftover eel from the James River trip, and I'm going to try dragging some eel. It's the only bait uh, I got that's any good at all that ain't just rotten to the core. So uh, let's drag a little bit out here with this eel and see what these Tennessee river fish think about it. Good old eel. I don't know if that's freshwater eel. I don't know if it's saltwater eel. I've never seen one of these in the Tennessee river. You only need to cut three pieces because that stuff does not come off the hook. There's some old rotten chicken breast. I have to remember to throw this stuff out. That eel leaves some type of old slimy stuff on your hands. Got to use my dirty South Dragon Weights towel for once. That stuff is nasty. All this bait in the cooler is nasty. I figured the eel would keep better than some of them old shad and stuff I had in there. I can't get the stuff off my hands. I don't know what it is, but the wind always wants to blow up the river. And finally, after years of putting up with this, I got what they call a drift sock. And this will help keep the back end of my boat pushed the way it's supposed to be. Could be in my way when I go to reel in a fish. That's if a fish even eats this stuff. Yeah, once you put that through that skin, that's the last time I'll have to bait that hook the rest of the day. I'm going to let plenty of line out because we're in 40 foot now, but there's some 60 foot up here later, so we'll get plenty of line out. Make up for the deeper water. That's some nasty old stuff right there. Put the old headpiece on this back rod. It ain't fresh, but it's in better shape than that shad was. Water temps are pretty hot, y'all. 87.7. Had the first bite already. That's just nasty. One thing about that eel, they can bite it all they want. It'll stay on there. We can fish out here till next year, and that eel will still be on the hook. I'm glad I don't have to handle it no more, because, man, that slime's still on me, even after rinsing my hands off. you got to literally just rub it off. Some nasty stuff. I've never actually drug eel. When I used it in the James, I was just still fishing, anchor fishing.
Yeah, that drift sock is helping. Of course, if you got more wind, you need another drift sock or a much bigger drift sock. I would probably rather just throw one big one fishing by myself in case I had a fish get tangled up in it. Yeah, we're hooked up. I'm gonna turn this boat out of the sun a little bit. Hooked up here. Slap dab in the middle of the channel. First Tennessee River catfish on a piece of hill. So there we've had, that's the third bite. And we've gotten hooked up here pretty quickly into this trip. Old male, been off the nest for a little while. Got the old wide head on it. That catfish was slimy, but not as slimy as that eel. Yeah, there she is. Got some old green stuff coming out of it. We're hooked up with another one. Still on there. They don't mind to drive right beside you around here. Old dinky female.
I didn't even get to cast that one out. It's an absolute joy fishing with wake boats in the water. There we go. Fish number three real quick on this eel. And it's old eel, like five days old. this out real quick. They are liking this eel. Good-looking female catfish. Got a little bit of attitude on her. Y'all, we hitting these fish with the bait they're not used to seeing around here. And they're liking it. They are liking it. I wish I had some fresh eel. You don't get none of this stuff around here. That old head piece. Just keep using the same bait over and over. Today is Monday. I actually bought this stuff on a Tuesday, so it's six days old. I've had this eel in my cooler. And uh, so it keeps good, and the fish are still wanting it. I got plenty of it. I'll, I'll try it at seven days and eight days, too. Keep me from having to mess with them finicky summer skipjack, anyhow.
another one. It's not too bad of a fish for old Fort Lousy. They tearing this eel up. Same old piece with the green stuff hanging out. There's that hook back there. there. Yeah, this don't come off of it. Might slide up the line, but you can slide it right back down. Like a magic bait around here. I believe this is the biggest one of the day here. Not a doubt. Usually a big fish will swim straight up under the boat. This one's kind of staying out. Dragging them against the current. Yep, that's a real fish there.
get this other one by the boat. Yeah, that's a good one there. I'm just going to spot lock right here because we've got two baits that ain't going to be in the water. Just an old smaller fish there. Yeah, that's a nice one here, y'all. Still got the eel head back. All right, y'all. Let's get more like a James River fish than a Fort Lowen fish. Turn it the other way where they can see you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thick thing, man. We'll take it. Magic bait around here. Woo. Oh, he done slime that leader up and the bait still on the hook talk to me yeah a little female whatever fish it comes across they hitting it One good thing about this eel, them small fish can hit it, and it's still going to be on there. See if these fish will give me a break long enough to drink something. These hot old summer days. That one came off, and I'm glad he did, because I want to drink some of this water. Now I've got my water drank, now I'll go ahead and reel them in. I'm going to try to eat a piece of cheese, but that ain't going to happen either. Out here in the heat of the late afternoon, and any fish that sees this stuff is grabbing a hold of it.
See what I mean? It's ridiculous. All right, y'all, let me eat this cheese before I pull these fish in. This is ridiculous. of bait, still using the same bait, yeah, fat little female, Skinny little female. Bait still on the hook. There you go. Yeah, much thinner female. This is ridiculous, y'all. Well, all right, y'all. Uh, I came out here to test the prop. And I figure, well, I'm here. Had about an hour and a half or so before dark. I figure I'll go ahead and try to shoot a video. Hadn't fished Tennessee River in several weeks now. And uh, to those that watch all my videos, I was down on the James River on the last trip. I was having a hard time. I couldn't get them fish to hit nothing. I stopped at the James River Tackle Company. Uh, I bought some eel, and uh, the eel caught every fish and a couple videos I made and then of course I brought it back with me this stuff's been on ice now for six days I cut three pieces of it off and we've caught the fish we've caught on just three pieces in a short time and this is not a high number fish lake by any means so obviously this time of year and these conditions there's something about that eel these fish are really liking so either way y'all uh, for the amount of time I had the number of fish we landed in the time we did and on the lake we did it in I'd have to say that's the best summer catfish bait I've ever seen the seasons the conditions will change what these fish will key on you can come out here with a traditional bait skipjack and shad on certain days and the fish don't want no part of it they sure wanted a part of that eel. I made a quick video, and that's a good deal. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes the fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.